Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 inform player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated second inform Douglas Costa. Now, if you do want to go and pick this card up and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 10,500 to 150,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So I actually managed to get Costa as well from completing one of the um, weekly objectives. So in the seven matches he did play um, with this card, I managed to get four goals and zero assists. Now it doesn't really seem like the best return, um, but I did play this guy in left mid, left wing, and left forward. Um, sort of, you know, just rotating him between the different positions just to see where he does play best. And I definitely feel like he plays best in a more of an attacking role. And as you can see, he's got some absolutely insane in game stats, such as 99 acceleration and 99 agility. So this has been the in game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. So starting off the highlights now, we're going to go into the pros. Now the first pro I could find with Douglas Costa was his pace. Now this guy is absolutely rapid, one of the fastest players on FIFA 18. Um, so, so quick and especially, you know, when you do perform skill moves with this guy, he also has 99 agility. Um, so, you know, the pace and the agility combined just makes this guy so, so good for scaling with. Um, you know, he performs skill moves so, so quickly and he's probably one of the fastest um, five-star skillers on the whole of FIFA 18. The next pro I could find this card was his dribbling. Now, this guy's dribbling was just touch perfect. Um, he can seem to keep it like really close to his feet, so it's really hard for defenders to dispossess him. As you can see from this chance there, um, go on a really crazy score run. Um, at the end, I, th I think I was trying to do a ball roll step over to um, Waka Waka, um, but I sort of failed it because I was moving too slow. Then I tried to slow my play down, and it basically just made you know Douglas Costa stop. But if I would have scored that, that would have been a crazy, crazy goal. And then the final pro I got from this card was his free kicks. Now I score um, one free kick in this um, video, as you will see. It's a really nice one. Um, in to the top corner past the goalkeeper as you'll see later on in the video now moving into the cons the first con i could find this card was his strength and this guy is very weak um that's one thing you would have to take into consideration when using this card is how weak he is um gets pushed off the ball very easily so um as long as you can sort of like avoid the shoulder to shoulder battles you should be good and a lot of the time this guy is so fast and you know it's hard for defenders to keep up with him in the first place and then moving into the final con with this card and that was his positioning um now this positioning on this card wasn't really the the best um, even though he has medium low work rates what well, isn't the worst you know high um, attacking work rates would be better he just seems to stay back a bit too much um, in my opinion you know for example um, when you're on my like counter-attack opportunities this guy will be like in the left mid position say if I'm playing him in left forward and it can be like you know pretty annoying especially you know when you want him in your attack because you sort of lack in the extra player um, but apart from that this card was a very very good he's also got a three star weak foot what may not be the best but he seemed to be fine for me um, he could definitely finish on that weaker right foot um, and then of course he's got the five star skill moves um, what is really really helpful especially for skillers you know um, when you're in like tight situations you can always seem to get out of them and use the skill moves so guys this this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So now moving to the overview for second inform Douglas Costa. For a value of coins, I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10. He's currently going for around 40 to 50,000 coins. And in my opinion, for an 86 rated inform left mid from the Kelsey way, he was also Brazilian. So, you know, you don't really need to use this guy in a Kelsey way squad. You can also use this guy in a Brazilian squad. And he's a very, you know, good cheap alternative to Neymar. Um, enjoyment wise, I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. A very fun card to use. As I've already said, you know, really fast, um, really good agility and also really really good free kicks and I've just realized um, as I was talking earlier I said there was going to be a free kick goal in this video but there actually wasn't um, for some reason I can't find the clip again you know as I've already mentioned in my pre previous um, play review some of my clips just seem to go missing um, what can be really annoying um, so yeah but I actually scored a really nice free kick with this um, card I will try and post it on that Instagram or Facebook um, if you do want to do want to go and follow me um, at JCM FIFA I'll try and post it over there if you do want to go and see it um, competitiveness wise I'm going to give this guy an 8.5 out of 10 i think this guy is very very good competitiveness.ly you know if you can sort of forget about the positioning um and as long as you know you can avoid those shoulder to shoulder battles this guy will be very good in foot champions and then skilling wise i'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10 and then finally to end off the video i'm going to give the overall rating of an 8 out of 10 to second inform douglas costa so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more fifa 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time